Welcome to all. You might have understood the concept of growth and development. How the, these two terms are different from each other. We all have experienced the various stages of development. How have you grown and changed throughout your life? What aspects of ourselves change and develop as we journey through life? We move through significant physical, cognitive and psychosocial changes throughout our lives in various stages of development. Now we are going to discuss about stages of development difference between the prenatal and postnatal stages of development and characteristics of each stage of development. After watching this video, you should be able to categorize the various stages of human development to differentiate between the prenatal and postnatal stages of development to identify the characteristics of each stage of human development. When we think of our own changes that we have passed through, we can say that each phase of life may have different label and set of developmental tasks. Though the tasks are different, but we can say that all have value. When we think of the classification of human development, broadly we can classify human development into two, prenatal development and postnatal development. Why this prenatal development is taken into consideration? We can think that this prenatal development occurs before the birth of the child that is from the conception up to the birth. This is very important in one's life because whatever the mother thinks, feels, the same thing is affecting the child who is in the womb of the mother. And here the prenatal development can be categorized into three, the period of the zygote from fertilization to end of two weeks, period of the embryo, two weeks to two lunar months, period of the fetus, end of two months till birth. So these three phases denote the prenatal development. Then comes the second broad classification that is postnatal development. Postnatal development refers to all the stages that follow after the birth till the very end of life. And in postnatal development, there are various stages such as infancy and toddlerhood, early childhood, late childhood, adolescence, early adulthood, middle adulthood and late adulthood. Let us discuss in detail about each stage of development. And when we look at the stages in human development, the first postnatal life stage is prenatal in that first we are going to discuss about the prenatal stage of development. The approximate age is conception to birth and in this period we can see that there is shortly after conception. So this period duration is from conception up to the birth. What is happening during this period is that a single celled organism grows and multiplies. There we can see the rapid period of physical development in the lifespan. So for a life the starting is happening during the prenatal development. 
the fetus hears, responds to sensory stimuli, learns, remembers and begins the process of adjusting to life after birth. The next life stage that comes under the postnatal development. And in that postnatal development, the first stage is infancy and toddlerhood. The approximate age is between birth to two years. And during this period, we can see that the infant starts gaining motor control of the head. Then of the muscles of the lower part of the body. Equipped with senses to learn the world. And then during this period we can see the environmental influences. Because of this environmental influences the brain grow more complex. Interacts with the environment. Then we can see that the physical growth occurs, development of motor, perceptual and intellectual skills is happening. Then comes advances in language comprehension and use, problem solving, self-awareness, emotional control, interested in playing with other children and form bonds with parents and others. Then we can see the early childhood. The approximate age is 2 to 6 years. Here we can see that the child gain muscle strength and is able to control and coordinate the bodies. And we can see that the body structure that is shaping place, the bodies become more slender and adult like in proportions. The next stage in the postnatal development is early childhood. Here the approximate age is between 2 to 6 years. What is happening in this age is that the muscles get strengthened, the child is able to control and coordinate the bodies. The bodies become more slender and adult like in proportions. And we can see the starting of memory, language and imagination. And this memory, language and imagination improves. We can also see that the child become more independent, regulate emotions as well as develop a sense of right and wrong, more aware of one's own characteristics and feelings. And here, during the early childhood stage, family plays a major role. It is the primary social tie where we can also see the new ties with peers that is developing during this early childhood stage. Coming to the next stage that is the late childhood, the approximate age is between 6 to 11 years. Here we can see that the growth slows, strength and athletic ability increase, improvements in the ability to reason, remember, read and use arithmetic will improve. Then we can see the advance in cognition and gain social experience. The child understand themselves and think about moral issues in more complex ways. Here we can see the expansion of pure circle. Then comes the adolescent stage. The approximate age is between 11 to 18 years. And this stage everybody knows that it is the most crucial period in the phases of one's life. We may call it as a period of stress and storms as labeled by Stanley Hall. But 
we cannot say that it is a turbulent period. It is a major period where the child is able to adjust with life and an adolescent who has achieved this adjustment capacity will be able to lead a healthy and adjusted life in society. So what is happening here is that the growth spurt occurs and the child become physically and sexually mature and there the child develops the reason in adult like ways. Here we can see the development of self identity that the child starts to think that who am I, what is my position in society. Then comes the great deal of interest is shown in personal grooming, looks and clothes. They will always be looking in front of the mirror and thinking that how to improve their looks and what type of clothes they should be taken so that others everybody might be looking at them and here we can see that the psychological hazards arise out of inability to make the transition into maturity. The adolescents and their peers influence each other reciprocally. So what is needed is here is that the adolescent tries to become independent and their relationship circle is widened towards their peer group. They may show reluctant to share everything with the family members. Coming to the early adulthood stage which occurs approximately at 18 to 40 years, here during this stage an individual condition is that especially their physical condition peaks and then declines slightly with the time. The lifestyle choices such as diet and physical activity influence health. The experience, they also experience great changes such as moving out of the family, home, going to college, establish mature romantic relationships and beginning careers. They also take new responsibilities and new roles. They carry out decisions regarding career, lifestyle, joint workforce, establish a long term board with a spouse and become parents. So this thing we can see in the early adulthood stage. Coming to the middle adulthood, there we can see the approximate age is between 40 to 65 years. The changes occur in vision, hearing, physical stamina and sexuality. The basic mental abilities, expertise and practical problem solving skills, it enters at a peak during this middle adulthood. The career changes takes place where it demands the family transition that sometimes they may be transferred to some other place or otherwise they may be going in search of higher careers. Here comes the importance of the family transition. Then occurs with that the stress which stems from assisting children to become independent and then the career wise stress all those things they are facing. Then comes the important aspect that is assisting elderly parents with their own health and personal needs. Then comes the late adulthood period and this period extends about 65 years and beyond. During this period we can see that the older adults remain healthy and active despite physical declines. Reaction time slows show decline in some aspects of memory and intelligence. There occurs the increase in expertise and wisdom. They are less likely to form new friendships. 
they face adjustments to retirement confront decrease physical health and strength so how to lead a retired life this occurs during this late adulthood then comes they try to cope with personal losses and search for meaning in their lives so this is all about the various stages of human development and along with this we have to discuss about death which is a reality in one's life how to cope up with the losses of the beloved ones that is also taking place after 65 years onwards so we cannot say that when that thing happens but generally that habitation or that adjustment is also taking place during this stage so we have seen the various stages of human development what are the various stages what is the broad classification of these stages we can classify it as prenatal development and postnatal development and how this prenatal development is different from postnatal stages of development and lastly we have seen the characteristics of each stage of development so in a nutshell we can say that everybody will go in a sequential way from one stage to the other and each stage has its own developmental task if one has achieved successfully the developmental task he or she may be able to adjust the next stage in a proper way and at last able to come out as a responsible individual in society